All right, we're pretty much done with React fundamentals. And before we start discussing advanced React topics, let's quickly cover all the files in the source folder that create React app provides by default. And I'll also show you which files I typically remove when I start a new React project with create React app. Technically, this video is optional. So if you don't feel like following along, feel free to move on to the next video. If you, however, do want to follow along, I suggest installing new create react app instance. And remember the command was following first, we want to navigate to where we will set up the project. So in my case, that is going to be desktop. And then we want to type npx create react app at latest, and then the app name. So type this command and resume the video once all the dependencies have been installed. And once the install is complete, just open up the project in your text editor. And you don't have to bother with npm start. Since essentially we'll spend most of this video in the source folder. So just open up the project in text editor and then crack open the source folder. If we navigate to index.js, you'll see that the setup is almost, almost the same. So we have imports for React and React DOM. We also have here import for index CSS. Now, of course, if we navigate there, we can see that the code is a little bit different. And again, the general idea is that essentially, this is where you set up your global styles or maybe all the styles. Again, it really depends on your application. Then we have app component, which I'm going to talk about in a second. We also have this one. So the report web vitals. And essentially, if you're interested in learning more, they provide detailed info in the comments. Now, in our case, we're not going to implement that. So here's what we can do. We can simplify, we can remove this code. And we can also remove this import. So that's done. Then what's happening here with app.js? Well, you see, unlike the React fundamentals, where if I remember correctly, we ended up with a book list component, which was in the index.js. A common convention is to set up that root component as a app and set it up in a separate file. Basically, we have app.js. So this is our root component. This is where all our components are going to meet. And it's sitting in a separate file. And convention is to call this app. And most likely, I don't have to say that. You can call this orange, and everything is still going to work as long as the imports are correct. So again, it's just a convention. And basically, if we navigate here in the app.js, you'll see that they import the logo. So this is what we can see over here on the screen. And since we're already familiar how the ES6 modules work, of course, we're familiar with this code and then rest of the return. Now, we'll start from the very scratch. So I'll remove the logo. Actually, I'll delete the file in a second as well. And as far as the return, well, let's just go here with simple heading one. And let's say backroads app, backroads and app. Let's save it because I still want to talk about the app CSS. But while we're still in the index.js, one last thing that I want to mention, notice here how in the render, not only we have the app, so that's the root component. Again, the exact same setup how we had in React Fundamentals. The difference, of course, is the component. Instead of book list, now we have app. But it's also wrapped here in this strict mode. And essentially, strict mode is a tool for highlighting potential problems in application. It activates additional checks and warnings for its descendants. Now, it only runs in development, so it's not going to impact your production build. And one gotcha is that in development, it renders twice. And I'll showcase that in a second, don't worry. Now, if you want, you can remove. Please keep in mind. It is an option. 
if for some reason you don't like the warnings, you don't like the fact that it renders twice, you can always remove this component. And just to show guys that if I go back to AppJS somewhere here, and if I go with console log and if I'll say hello, you'll notice that the moment we save, basically it runs twice. That's something that we need to keep in mind. So again, once we refresh notice, essentially we have two hellos in the console. And again, it's because we have strict mode wrapping our app component, our root component. However, it is not going to affect the production. So once we ship this to production, the strict mode is not going to affect our application. Now, notice here how we have import for app CSS. So essentially we have two files. We have index CSS and we have app CSS. And you can already see that essentially we can split up our CSS code. So instead of jamming our entire CSS logic in one file, we can split it up. For example, you create a component and you right away set up a CSS file with the corresponding logic. Now, one gotcha we need to be aware of. All of this is still going in the same pile. Now, what do I mean by that? So let's say if in the index CSS, I have a code for heading one, and I'm not gonna be particularly original, and I'm just gonna say here, color red. If we navigate back, of course, everything works. Now, if we go to app CSS, the thing is, it's not going to be isolated by default. Basically, it's not going to be scoped to just this app JS. Essentially, whatever logic we're going to add here in the app CSS, it's going to get added to whatever logic we have in the index file or any other CSS file. And again, just to showcase that, effectively, we'll remove this component altogether in a second. But for now, let me just go here with heading one. And again, we need to go with color and I'm going to go with blue. And once we go there, actually, this overwrites whatever I have in the, the index CSS. So yes, you can definitely set up the files and split up the logic. However, keep in mind one thing, you'll still need to be careful as you're setting up the CSS. Now, of course, there are solutions for that, something that we're gonna cover in this course. For example, I am a huge fan of CSS in JS, more specifically styled components, and that's why we'll cover in this course that solve this problem. But right out of the box, Yes, you can nicely split up your CSS code, but please keep in mind that you'll have to be careful because all of that CSS code ends up in one place. So hopefully that is clear. It's not scoped by default to a certain component. All right, I think we covered everything. So now let me just remove this log. Let me also remove the import. We won't need that. And essentially, we'll just delete a bunch of files. We won't need them. So let's start here with app CSS. We'll also remove test. So this is if you want to set up tests, which we're not going to do. Then we also want to select the logo. We don't need the logo. This one, as well as setup tests. So you should only see, once you're done with delete, app.js, index.css, and index.js. So let me remove. And yep, now I have, again, index.js. This is where we inject our JavaScript logic into index.html in the public one. And the app.js is our root component. 